And tonight at 10 o'clock, hundreds gathered to pray for answers about a missing Moore County woman. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lena Tillette. And I'm Chris Lovingood. Alicia Watts went missing nine days ago. July 16th is the last time someone saw Alicia Watts. That was at the home of the man that she had been dating for a year. And then two days later, July 18th, State Highway Patrol found a man unresponsive in what they later learned was Watts' car in the DMV parking lot in Anson County. Finally, July 19th, authorities received a missing persons report for Watts. Tonight, there are a lot of questions about that timeline and what could have been done differently. WREL's Julian Grace joins us now live. Julian, talk a little bit about what you've been doing tonight. Well, Chris, you're right. There are a lot of questions about that timeline, and I want to walk you through what will happen right here tomorrow morning. There will be a chartered bus, and people will get on that bus and then head to the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department to get answers. Bring her home. Find Alicia Watts. Alicia Watts has been missing for nine days. She was a woman of faith. And on the ninth day, her family and friends gathered to pray. Hear our prayer, Lord God, that she is released. And when the prayer stopped, her family God, stepped up to the microphone God. and stated that they are committed to finding their Alicia. This is a loving, loving, loving young woman. Wherever you are, Alicia, we're praying for you. Fight, baby. Yes. I want you to continue to fight. Yes. We are all here fighting and praying with you. This crowd of a couple of hundred has questions about this investigation. The guy that was found in her car, unresponsive. There's got to be more answers than that. We want to know why is it taking so long for this to reach the social media. So during this vigil, people started to sign their name on a sheet to secure their seat on a chartered bus. That bus will travel to Charlotte in the morning and eventually to the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department to get answers. Mission tomorrow is for us to get to the bottom of what's going on with Alicia. We need more answers than what we have right now. Fighting for Alicia. I can't stress this enough. This is a loving community and they are fighting for Alicia. Now, once they get to the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department, they will go straight to a press conference that will press police for more answers. Chris? And Julian, just to see that crowd of people there clearly shows how big of an influence she has in that community. Hopefully we get some answers. Julian Grace, live in Moore County. Thank you.